What's going on guys? Dan Kale here from Liquidation Pros and today is Friday and this weekend is my third, will be my third weekend at the flea market. So uh, my mission right now is my SUV is filled up with stuff and I'm taking that, taking a load down right now to drop off and set up and then uh, on, when I'm done dropping this load off on my way home, I'm gonna swing by the warehouse fill my truck up with some more stuff to take down for tomorrow morning so it should be a pretty good weekend we had a storm come through on Wednesday night into Thursday we had there was like a nor'easter Maryland we didn't get it too bad we basically got uh, a lot of wintery mixed stuff it probably ended up being like two to three inches but then some ice came after that so it kind of like swishes it all down but uh, it's been really icy I'm sure their parking lot is probably a mess and I'm hopeful uh, it's supposed to be really cold tonight, like drop down to 18 degrees. And then tomorrow the high is only going to be like 37, I think, on Saturday. So good chance, fingers crossed, that there won't be a lot of people set up outside. Most people will be set up inside. So this will probably be um, my first real busy weekend. Um, Garrett, my helper, is off tomorrow. So it's going to, just going to be me down there. And then Garrett's gonna run it by himself on Sunday. I may run down for a couple hours and help him out uh, if he gets busy, but um, the, that's the game plan right now. Is I'm, I'm gonna handle it tomorrow and he's gonna handle it on Sunday. So I got a, a, a truckload right now, SUV load of mostly clothing, jackets, winter stuff. That stuff was selling really good for us. So I went to storage. Um, I pretty much got the rest of what I had uh, as far as winter goes, I ha still have quite a few boxes of just like mixed clothing, more pants and shirts. But um, right now, the jackets, at, like the heavier jackets, at ten bucks a piece, and the like the fleece and the lighter jackets, I'm just getting five for, it, and those are selling really fast. Though. So that's and that's a really good price for those those guys down there. Um, you know, thirty dollar jacket, I was paying like three to six dollars for it in, in liquidation. So to get ten for it. I'm recouping all my money plus some profit and for those other lightweight jackets I was paying between like two to four dollars for those so to get five bucks back once again recouping my investment getting rid of the inventory uh, and I found that's one of the, the best ways to do it the other thing you could do is for the cheaper stuff is lot it all up and sell it in bulk try to find some uh, some people that buy in bulk but I actually have a couple guys now and gals a couple guys and gals down the flea market that are buying uh, you know, I don't know if you've noticed in the last videos, like literally like walking out with boxes of stuff. So anyhow, that's what I'm up to. Uh, you'll probably see some footage of me, maybe setting some stuff up down the flea market. And then um, after that, tomorrow, I'll try to get some live, some live footage of uh, maybe some negotiating or what I'm selling, how the day's going. So I'll keep you guys in the loop. Depending on how much I film tomorrow, this whole, this whole uh, weekend might be in one video. I might split it in two if it gets to be, uh, you know, a lot of good video. So hope you guys are uh, liking it. If you would, give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you on the next part of this video. Peace. All right, so I just got down here and unfortunately, uh, the snow is already all melted down here. So about 30 minute drive from my house and there's no snow here, but um, it's still pretty cold and it's gonna be really cold tomorrow. So they already got, there's somebody set up. The uh, farmer's market and this store down here on the end, they're open on Fridays. So a lot of people go there for food. I'm actually gonna pick up some dinner from there. Really good food, but uh, let me go ahead and unload and I'll show you guys what the shop looks like. All right, so just got inside. This is my little uh, booth they're called, but basically it's almost like a little mini store. Um, got my name up there. These doors are really nice because they lock up so I can close it all up. Everything's locked inside. And then these open all the way up for like a nice entryway. Um, it's, I would prefer a shop like this that's fenced that you can, um, you can kind of see everything easier as you walk by. Like if you're standing on this side, you can't really see what's in my shop when the doors are opened up. But you have to kind of almost be walking right in or be walking from this area. And we are right next to the donut shop lady. So um, basically I got it set up, um, it kind of, a big like horseshoe so you can walk around all sides and uh, shelving two shelving racks on this side with uh, jackets hanging up just some closet poles up here uh, the other shelf is right here and then a homemade shelf there basically we have a just a bin of mixed clothing down there we're selling anything in this bin for two for five 
a couple bags hanging up. And then as we come across um, like higher end toys, not higher end, but five to $10 toys, we put them up there. This center table, this is like our rummage bin table. And we do on this table, right now we're doing anything on there's two for five, but it's, if it's something cheap, we will negotiate. Like I'm not gonna sell a DVD two for five. That would be uh, two for a dollar really. But for the most part, we started at that, and then people, you know, early in the morning will pick through and find what they like. And then as the stuff gets picked over and you're left with kind of just like cheaper stuff like a candle or some sponges, that's not really worth that. So what we'll do is we'll turn this into the dollar table. So anything on the table is a dollar. And then once that's all gone, what we'll do is we'll do like fill a bag for five bucks. So, and that's a good way to get rid of cheap inventory. Uh, and then this is our little, uh, this is my little, I guess you'd call it like a cashier desk, like a little checkout area. We have our bags and hangers as we sell stuff. We put the hangers up there so we can hang more stuff up. Uh, I really like this, this spot right here because it has a bunch of uh, area for shelving for storage for like our snacks um, and different miscellaneous things we might need like tape or markers. Um, like color price tags that we have made up, you know, they're all right there. Um, so this is where we check out. This safe here is screwed, locked up and screwed to this desk, which weighs about a hundred pounds. So you can't really just walk off with it. And then over here we have our clothing. Anything hanging up is five. Most of the stuff on the tables, uh, going to be five bucks a piece, but some of the th thinner stuff, we can only do like two for five. We have some scarves down here, a box full of scarves. They're five bucks a piece. And I guess apparently the last couple of lots, we had some, some uh, book bags in it because I got a bunch of bags there and then a bunch of bags there and they're all from Target. So uh, these were asking also five bucks. So you'll notice most of my pricings like uh, either a dollar, $2, um, sometimes three, but then, then I go to five normally, um, two for five. And then normally we jump from like five to 10. So, and just a few other miscellaneous things. So anyhow, that is the booth. I got a bunch of clothing to bring in. Um, some of this stuff I'm gonna thin out a little bit. And uh, like these aren't worth two for five. And I may, I may end up making this the dollar table because it looks like there's a lot of cheaper stuff left. So we may just go to a dollar table and if it's if i think the item's more than worth like it will sell for like three bucks i might just pull the to pull the more expensive stuff out uh some myers clean dryer sheets they're probably that's probably a two dollar item but I'll, I'll let it go for a buck a lice removal kit uh, a little wine holder uh, little christmas trees i should probably pull those out and display those somewhere and a bunch of other stuff, NyQuil. So yeah, we're getting to the point where this is a lot of cheaper stuff, just a little toilet brush, uh, Eagles game, I guess. This shouldn't be in here, this is a shirt. Put that up there. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and start unloading. Uh, I'll probably show you a few, few of the things that I'm bringing in that we're planning to sell this weekend. And then uh, I'll probably wrap it up for today. And then you guys will see me uh, when I'm coming down here and we're open for business on Saturday. So hope you're enjoying it. I'll catch you on the next vid. Another entire cart. Uh, I just brought in these four, one, two, three, and then this big guy here. And then on there I have five boxes of stuff. So everything here and over here is all clothing that I brought today, except for this stuff. It's just like mixed. Um, there's like some protein powders. These were like, they just expired. So I'm not gonna bother trying to sell those. Um, some of the stuff is like short dated or expired. All this oil lay, Olay, uh, like sunscreen stuff. So I'm gonna try to get five bucks a box for this stuff. It's like regularly $25 new, but uh, you know, I paid $250 a box and it's, this stuff's expired, unfortunately. It uh, expired 10, 10, 2020. So 
those will get piled up over on that table anything on that table that i think is a dollar is going to go in this middle bin the middle bin is going to be tomorrow is going to be one dollar i'm going to pull out anything i think i can get for more than a dollar for and put over on that table over there so let me start unboxing some of this clothing it's nice to do this um while no one's here there's no one in the shop i don't have to wear a mask so um take my jacket off take my mask off hang some clothes off ugh, hang some clothes up uh, it's almost two o'clock now and i still need to go to the warehouse so probably be here for 20 minutes i don't need to unbox it all because tomorrow um i can come in at 7 a.m most of the customers aren't going to come some there'll be some early birds right at seven trying to look but i'll be able to set up for probably about an hour before it starts getting busy around eight or nine so uh that's what i'm up to let's uh let's hang some clothes up all right so that one box was here i threw a few of the dollar items in the in the rummage bin and then in there within there was also all this toothpaste so i paid 10 cents a piece for these um i'm either going to do i think i'm going to try to do three for a dollar so um they're normally a dollar piece they're like the little travel ones for the crest pro health um so three for a dollar my cost is 30 cents so i'll make about 70 cents off every every three that sell um three for a dollar or 50 cents each is what i'm going to do with those these on the other hand unfortunately um since these were regularly these uh hair scrunchies were regularly seven dollars new uh, i paid 70 cents a piece for these um so really i'm going to just try to sell them for a dollar a uh, dollar box and i'll make 30 cents but uh not as much margin as i would like on an item like this but these are kind of expensive and down here i don't think people are going to pay that much um, i may look online at these and see if they're worth bundling up maybe do like um because they're super light so i could probably do like you know six or ten of them first class a pack of ten so we'll see how we do down here and then maybe i'll do a big bundle but then um uh, basically just some different stuff here that's you know three dollar item two dollar item things that aren't a dollar these are three bucks a piece uh this secret here is going to be two bucks these mega reds will be three um and these oil olays will be five so now i'm gonna get ready to start unboxing some of the clothing i'm just gonna hang a few jackets up and the rest i will do tomorrow for you i don't want to bore you guys with uh hanging stuff up or whatever and I'm trying to do this quick, so I did just want to show you what kind of stuff is in these boxes. It's like a men's dress shirt. Probably get that. Probably go in the two for five bin. So that's a pretty good price for that. Ugly sweater. I'll get five bucks for that. We've already sold like three or four of those. Jessica Simpson jeans. They'll be five. PJs. I'm getting five for. Uh, fleece sweater. I get five for that. So as you can see, it's like a lot of nice winter stuff. And this right now, you're probably watching this. Um, either Christmas has either just passed or um it's it's really like it's coming up it might be posting right around christmas because right now i'm still about a week behind on my videos so about a week out um from when you guys are watching this so we're just the weekend before christmas so this should be a good weekend um these items you just saw me throw there but in this other but this other bin let's see we have a hoodie a nice black hoodie i think that's going to be 32 degrees i really like these hoodies i've been wearing them myself actually and I may keep this one for myself if it fits me. Let's see. Yeah, 32 degrees large. So I, in hoodies, I prefer extra large, but this is actually similar to the one you see me wearing a lot as well. Uh, 32 degrees. They're really nice hoodies. I get five bucks for those all day long. And then like here's a winter coat. Um, this coat, you know, has a few marks on it. It doesn't have tags and the brand is weatherproof. That's going to be a $10 coat, but that's a good price. We'll put that, we'll hang that up outside. You can see it has a few little spots on it, but 10 bucks for that jacket. There's a bunch of robes in here. Um, some more jackets. This looks like a Jerry brand. That's a Jerry jacket. So this is all like Costco clothing. And then there's some lighter weight stuff in here. Some polos, Kirkland polo. Um, I actually have one of those already. They're really nice. And uh, Nat Nass polo. You know, it's got a few little spots on it but probably could just be washed off so some t-shirts but then over here so this box is more like a mixed box um, this one has a jacket in it some adidas pants those will sell pretty quick i'm sure uh, i'm not sure why these are even down here extra large they're actually pretty sweet so i might get 10 for those actually uh, and some more winter stuff a nice like flannel and then down here 
just some Eddie Bauer women's lightweight shirts. And then here we have a bunch of these, like, uh, they're like a tighter fit kind of sports, uh, sports fleece, I guess you'd call it. And that's, um, Mark, Mark, Andrew Mark. These are five bucks a piece. Um, I sold a few of those already. As you can see, I have some up. But when I found this box, I noticed there was some double X's. The last time around, we only had mediums and smalls. Uh, as you can see, that's a medium there. So I found some bigger sizes, so that should be good. Because a lot of what's left is smaller, extra small, small, medium. So basically, these first like four rows have been women's stuff. The women's stuff has sold the most. And then men's stuff, we're just hanging up the last four. So women's for four, and then men's for four and then just random stuff over there. Uh, I'd like to get some more of these 10 inch hooks from Home Depot, I only bought 10 of them. I need to go back and get some more of those, but I won't have that this weekend. So that gives you an idea of what's in these boxes, all that clothing, tons of stuff, and I still haven't even touched those. So I got my work cut out for me. All right, so one of my regulars is has his own stand here, and he popped over to Chit Chat and saw me unboxing, so he ended up just buying hundred dollars worth of stuff. Um, so good start to the weekend. Um, he was digging through these boxes. I actually have to run in the warehouse, so I don't have time to set as much up as I wanted to, but I did hang some different jackets up and ugly sweaters, but I'll do the rest in the morning um, and throughout the day tomorrow. So, but he bought a bunch of these, Tom I was selling these Tommy um, sweatshirts for five bucks and uh, he bought about 15 of those. So that's a really good price for those. He made out pretty good, but I told him I couldn't sell them all of them because I want some for my regular customers. So anyhow, I'm getting ready to get out of here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, just getting some gas real quick. I actually already loaded up at the warehouse. Um, didn't take any footage there. I was trying to get in and out because it's already 3.50 right now, p.m., almost 4 o'clock. And um, my mailman actually texted me that he called out sick today. But I didn't get that message till like, uh, I guess it was like 2.30 when I was leaving the flea market. So, um, I'm getting some gas. I'm going to run home, grab my packages, take them to the post office, try to do that before five. And then, um, I have a couple boxes when I was going through the, um, the stuff at the warehouse for the flea market stuff. I found another box of eBay stuff. So it's kind of frustrating because we pretty much already sorted everything out, but it is what it is. I'll go through and try to match up. And for the listings that were already created, I can just add the quantity to it. But basically minus uh, don't pay attention to the car seats, but a bunch of uh, Home Depot boxes and all the way in the back there Beyond the car seats is a bunch of uh, Probably about six boxes of stuff. So that's all miscellaneous target lower end cheaper stuff And I did as I was opening the boxes up. I snapped a couple shots of what was in there, but um, Basically, I'm when I get home later tonight when I'm, we're kind of chilling out I'm gonna start posting those on Facebook marketplace and try to drive people to my flea market stand. So we'll see how that works. Uh, tomorrow, I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll put a note in, there, note in there, say, hey, mention this ad for a better price or something. Just just uh, out of curiosity to see like, what percentage of people can I get to come into the flea market uh, and, and buy stuff from me versus what percentage of people are already there. So anyhow, my little, uh, my fuel thing just clicked. Got to undo that and head to the post office. So I just got home and this gives you an idea of the difference between 30 minutes south of my house down close to Baltimore to uh, to here. That's why I was thinking of, you know, the parking lot might be icy and stuff because look at my driveway. This was all ice and we uh, put salt down and chipped it all up today. Pretty much it all looked like what that does there. But anyhow, I thought I'd show you guys that I wasn't uh, hallucinating. We did have a lot of snow and ice and there was nothing like really nothing down there at the flea markets.